Dickens event case. Let's hope I get something I use. Guaranteed rare. <sighs> Fletcher's awesome. I don't have him. Oh, yes. Time to unlock. Hello Wicked Army, it's Chewy here from Wicked Gaming and just bringing you a bit of information about what is up in the world of Wicked Gaming. Oh, that was a nice little headshot there. For those of you who are still subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. The channel did go dark for a while and the reason for this will be explained in this video. In the background, I went on a bit of a rampage in Dirty Bomb backed up by Cypher, aka Ash, and I was pretty happy with the round even though I'm not a great player, it's probably the putting a massive amount of hard work into the Orange channel all the time, especially now as we are on holidays and he is aiming to start double uploads. So, doing full-time film school and YouTube is really hard on your time. Plus, I also have a job. So sadly, when film school gets really busy at the end of the semester, the time that we can dedicate to the channels goes down. Wicked works really, really hard, but the Orange channel only received a couple of videos in the last couple of weeks. Blue, well, that's embarrassing. I've not been able to make a video for ages. It doesn't help that I am also terrible at games, so collecting quality footage is really hard. If you've seen the bad luck video, or bad week video, can't remember what it was called, from a while ago, you'll understand. Over the holidays, I'm going to try and get into the habit of weekly uploads, or even bi-weekly if I can manage it. It just means I have to spend a lot more time playing computer games. So sad, huh? First world problems. I do have some work down on the Gold Coast that I have to do, and so this means that very frequent uploads probably won't happen until next year, but next year is only a few days away, so it's not as bad as it sounds. At the moment, we are looking at adding Battlefront to the uh, play rotation here. We did some stuff with the beta when that was out. But the game's fully out, but we haven't had a chance to play it because the last few weeks have been crazy. We're also looking at doing some more GTA 5. There's been some updates and patches to that that look really cool. On top of this, I'm going to try and get more H1Z1 Battle Royale footage. That takes a lot of time because the playing style and mechanics are so different to all the other first person shooters I play. Uh, it's a much heavier gun, a much more sluggish, and generally it takes me a while to actually be able to compete. Finally, Star Citizen has released 2.0, which is the first taste of the persistent universe which they have been promising. The first time I played, it was amazing. They unlocked all ships for all players and I took the Gladius and it was beautiful and I did not record it because I only had a short amount of time and didn't think of it. Unfortunately, every time I have jumped into the game since then, it's been hampered by bugs. Uh, my favorite one at the moment is when I try to take a constellation to f for a flight. I fall through the floor. Uh, I literally cannot walk around inside the constellation. Also, uh, I have a Cutlass Black, and whenever that spawns, it, most of the time it spawns damage. This is not a complaint. It's just uh, an observation of what's happening. It is very, very early access. It's pretty much, it is pre-alpha, not even pretty much pre-alpha. So bugs are part of life, but it does prevent me from making a really nice video. 2.1 should be coming out soon though. And in 2.1, they're going to release the Freelancers. Both myself and Wicked have bought Freelancers a long time ago. So we'll be able to fly those ships, which is very exciting. So now I figure I should talk a little bit more about Dirty Bomb. It is still definitely mine and Wicked's favorite game right now. At the moment, they are having the Dickens event. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but you saw the Dickens event case that I got at the start of the video. There is also a small chance of rolling one of those green Dickens cards in any normal case. As you can see, I've already got the lump of coal for three hours of play on the back of the gun there. He's a cute little guy, and, and I'm almost up to the next level, which is a lamp. This does nothing, but it is very cool bling. Since the last video I made, there have been a release of a couple of new mercs. 
There is Thunder, who is a heavy class or assault class like Fragger. But instead of Fragger's crazy HE nades, Thunder throws a concussive nade. This will blind everyone, much like a flashbang in other games, but it'll also disable deployables like Bushwhacker's turret and Proxy's mine. It's a very powerful unit, especially combined with its high-powered LMG that shoots forever and has 160 hit points. Stoke has also been out for a while. His Molotov nades are amazing at defending objectives, and I like the way that they made them different colors depending on whether or not it's friendly. With these two troops out, there are just Amy and Turtle to come. So I'll be looking forward to seeing what those two add to the mix. So what all this means is stick around, enjoy the ride. Wicked Gaming is looking to grow all the time. Orange Channel is almost at 18,000. Actually, it is at 18,000 while I'm recording this. So make sure you go over there and check out our Clash of Clans videos. Anyway, I'll leave you with the rest of this footage. It gets quite epic towards the end there. Last line of defense and all that. Give us a like, favorite, and subscribe if you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. Mission accomplished, but you made that look hard work. <laughs>